Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. Good morning. I'm in Central California, Zone 9B. And I'm over here admiring my av Mexico avocado tree, how much throughout the winter and the fall and winter it just started producing flowers. So I think it's going to produce flowers all year round, looks like. This is amazing. It didn't stop at all. But uh, I, I like to pick off the yellow leaves and you can see one up here. I'm going to pick off in a little bit. But I was looking at this one, and there's a little snail sleeping. Obviously not going to eat these. There's no leaves that are eaten. It's hiding up here, sleeping up here, so the birds won't find it on the ground somewhere. So I'll probably just leave this one alone. Remember, like I said, the snails and slugs are part of, are part of the cycle. They're part of your garden. They're your, your janitors. They're cleaning up any sick or diseased leaves they're not picking up they're eating excuse me they they only like my previous videos to show you but plants that were diseased or dying they ate they left the good ones alone the leaves that are touching the ground and rotting away they ate it all to the stump and left the good leaves alone so although i have mentioned in the past an infestation is probably a, a problem but uh but yeah, he's just sleeping up there in a treehouse. A snail treehouse. That's the first time I've ever seen that in my avocado. But <clears throat> I looked around the surrounding leaves if he's eating leaves. He's not touching anything. He's just sleeping up there or she. And there's a little wasp that is trying to pollinate these flowers. Pretty cool. Alright guys. See you later. Bye.